Welcome to Learn Yourself. Let us understand that how the purification will happen into the heart, the detail. So here we are dividing heart into two equal parts. This is left part and this is right part. Now into the left, there will be two things that upper portion of the left is left atrium. The lower portion of the left part is left ventricle. So left atrium and left, this is left atrium and this is left ventricle. Similarly, in the right side, this is right atrium and the lower portion will be left ventricle. So there will be four chambers of the heart, two atriums, two ventricles. Left side, left atrium, left ventricle and right side, right atrium, right ventricle. Now, one more important things we are going to learn here is pulmonary arteries and pulmonary veins. We know that arteries are always getting the pure blood and veins are always getting impure blood. But here, pulmonary veins getting the pure blood from the lungs. So this is an exception for the veins that pulmonary veins are getting the pure blood from the lungs and pulmonary arteries. They are taking impure blood from the organs to the heart. So pulmonary arteries are having the impure blood whereas pulmonary veins are having the pure blood. Except these two pulmonary artery and pulmonary veins, other arteries and veins functions are the arteries are circulating oxygen rich blood and veins are taking the impure blood from organs to, to lungs. So these things you have to remember. Now let us get into the detail. So first we are talking about left side. So first we are talking about left atrium. So oxygen rich blood from the lungs come to the thin walled upper chamber of the heart on the left, the left atrium. So whatever oxygen rich blood will come, that will come to left atrium. Once the blood will come, the atrium will relax and it will fill in with the blood. Once it will receive the blood, it will contract and it will push the blood out. So left atrium relaxes when it is collecting the blood and then it will contract. Once it will contract like this, it will pushes the blood out and that blood will go from atrium to ventricle. Into the diagram, as we can see, it, it goes from atrium to ventricle. And the left ventricle will receive that blood from the atrium. So blood flow will be from left atrium to left ventricle. Once this left ventricle will receive the blood, it will relax. So blood will come in, left ventricle will fill with the blood. Then again it will contract. It will become smaller, its size will shrink. So it will push the blood out. When the muscular left ventricle contracts its turn, the blood is pumped out to the body. Now blood will pumped out to the body from the left ventricle. So what is the function of left part of the heart? That the blood, it comes from the lungs. It is oxygen rich blood. So it goes to left atrium, then it goes to left ventricle. These two parts are of the hearts. Now from hearts, it will go to body parts. From left ventricle, it will go to body parts. So this is the flow of the blood in left side of the heart. That it comes from the lungs, it is oxygen rich blood, it go to left atrium, then it will go to left ventricle and then it will circulate it to body parts. So this is the flow of the blood from lungs to the left part of the heart and to the body part. Now similarly, let us see what the right part of the heart will do. So here, 
deoxygenated blood comes from the body to the upper chamber of the right right atrium so this is right atrium so blood will come from the body parts and once it is coming from the body parts we know it is impure it is ridged with carbon dioxide so deoxygenated blood will come from the body parts to the right side of the heart and it will come to right atrium it will come to right atrium once it will receive the blood it will relaxes so blood will come into it and then it will contracts it will shrink so blood will go out now that blood will come to right ventricle from right atrium to right ventricle and from here it will dilate it this transfer blood to right ventricle which turns pumps it to the lungs for oxygenation now from the right ventricle it will go to lungs because we know that it is deoxygenated blood and it requires purification and again that blood has to contain oxygen so that it will circulate into body parts so how the blood flow will work into the right side of the heart that deoxygenated blood what is the meaning of deoxygenated blood blood without oxygen that will come to the right atrium of the heart from right atrium it will go to right ventricle and from right ventricle it will go to lungs for purification so these are the parts of hearts and this will be the blood flow towards the right side of the heart so the function of the right side of the heart and left side of the heart is completely different left side circulates the oxygenated blood and right side will collect the blood from the body part and it will send it to the lungs for purification So thank you for watching and learning with us. If you have any doubt, please comment down below. I'll see you in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing. And don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself.